Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the official ARC podcast number 165. My name is Mistletoad, and I'm here with the core team. Your host for tonight, as always, the one and only Atlas. Take it away, sir. Thank you for the introduction, Mistletoad. And folks, welcome back to another edition of the ARC Daily Podcast. This is Friday, a very special Friday. They call it Friday, April the 14th, but here on the ARC, in a historic date, the ARC has released, ladies and gentlemen, the mobile application, the game changer, to cross the bridge to the real world, where the average Joes and James, the bus drivers, the Uber drivers, the farmers, the mothers, the fathers, those that work three jobs, living paycheck to paycheck, who are feeling the effects of inflation on a global scale. They're looking for an answer. They're looking for a hedge on inflation against the printers to be on the right side of compounding. And my friends, history will be very kind to the ARC as we are writing history here. The total vault accounts, 4,428, and continuing to climb. Liquidity always on the up, 882,105 BUSD. ILC reserves holding nice and steady at 464,713 BUSD. And of course, folks, the Spark Prize nearing yesterday's all-time high, 584.13 ARC. And my friends, that is a street value of $3,335.44. That today is going to go to the 117th Spark Prize winner and put him directly into Nitro mode, folks. Absolutely fantastic. This team is extremely proud of everything that's happened today, the quality of the work, the production, and the mobile application, my friends, is the absolute game changer. No other ROI DAP has crossed this bridge successfully, has not had this tool. And it's not about talking bad about anyone else. It's just a matter of pure facts understanding that there's a lot of friction to onboard new investors from the real world, folks that have never purchased crypto. Now in the palm of their hand, they'll be able to enter and get on board. It is their ticket to financial freedom. And we are here waiting with open arms. We have over 4,000 plus investors Experts at DeFi ready to extend their arms and help in an empathetic fashion anyone in the world who's looking for financial freedom. It is our responsibility to help them, to educate them. Extremely excited, folks. I want to thank everyone in this community for your patience, for your continued support for educating others and for being a part of this project. We are leapfrogging, going so far ahead than anyone in the space has gone before. And it is very, very exciting. I want to bring on Mr. Brett Nordine and give him a round of applause. He's been managing the whole development of the application and he's done an absolutely amazing job. Hope you're doing well today, Brett Nordine. Doing great. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, those, you know, we have some great team members. They really just manage themselves, but <laughs> sometimes uh, we have to do other things in the background. And uh, this was definitely a big team win. And also thank you to the Dow for the, for the people that took the time to, you know, test it and give us a lot of feedback. It really helped, I think, 
what you're seeing today is is obviously um, you know the first public launch revision, but we've already gone through at least one rev with the DAO. So that process is uh, invaluable to a development team and to have a group of experts uh, in the DAO that can test things for us and we can put in front of and, and get feedback on is is huge. Um, so you know it can it can speed up our development. It can put our best foot forward when we release things to the public. Um, and it just makes, you know, our life and, and all the investors, um, I think, so much better uh, just in terms of our process and how we release things uh, out in the wild. So, yeah, I think this went really smooth. Thank you so much, Crypto King. Alex put a huge effort in as well. Um, and uh, I think this went really smoothly and uh, we'll, we'll keep pushing it out there. Um, as everyone knows, we have other components that we want to put around that. We're calling our phase two, our end-to-end -end solutions. And so when we package all these things up, um, Alex is obviously working on the DAP as well, the, the desktop and the browser-based uh, version of the DAP. Those will, uh, you know, those will also encompass all of these, you know, simplified processes for getting crypto uh, into the system and out of the system. So that's where our next phase is looking at. And so a lot of the focus and energy and, and talk that you'll see is going to be focused around that. Um, also a big push for the legacy NFTs. Um, I did get the roadmap presentation back this morning from our designer. So that's going to be coming out shortly. Uh, we'll be presenting that initially to the DAO. We're going to go through it. I, I haven't had much of a chance just with everything going on with the launch, but I expect over the weekend, I'll have a pretty good once over on it uh, as well as a couple other people to take a look at it. Um, if you, if um, I think Mistletoe, did you post those press release links out? I haven't yet. I was going to do it live on the pod here. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, and Catalyst just pu uh, published the Medium article announcement as well for the mobile app. So we're live on the news wires and also on the Medium channel. And so uh, it'd, be, it'd be great if everybody could grab those links and, and share them out on your socials and clap up the medium article and make comments that would be huge so yeah great win today and looking forward to everyone's feedback we do have a uh channel within our channel for the mobile app support so if, if everybody has comments uh and can use that channel that would be the best uh, if you haven't seen it yet it's it's one of the the tabs under the official arc main it's called mobile app support and so any comments or questions that you have, we can keep them there. That would be much easier to manage for Scripto King. And also probably Alex will be probably entertaining there as well. And we can uh, be a lot more effective if we have one, you know, one spot that we're managing those uh, questions and answers. So other than that, that's about it. Atlas, anything else that you can think of? Well, I, I, I know for a fact that uh, we didn't come to develop this project just to sit in the sandbox that is uh, the uh, the app space ROI miners. We came here to do so much more, and, and this is what we've conveyed to all the investors. There is a long trajectory here. This is a multi-year plan. If we were going to do this for to, to be here six months or a year, we both have much better things we could be doing with our lives. It is, it is a, a true passion for, for crypto and for understanding that we as crypto investors, which is our, our main common denominator, who are looking for speculation opportunity to reach our financial goals, are quite, quite spoiled, really. <laughs> we, we, we've been spoiled and we've been rugged and we've had so many losses and so many wins at the same time but it's been a very very hard year for a lot of folks in the space and not only for the space this is not just you know the crypto streets it is wall street it is all streets and it's not just 100 percent inflation in argentina 90 percent devaluation in lebanon of their fiat this is happening on a global scale so we understand and we see clearly the crisis that we consider opportunity. And, uh, you know, we're, we're very excited, very focused on rolling out these products that, that we're going to be 
announcing very, very shortly to all the investors and all the community. And I think we're going to see something here historic, very, very powerful. There's 1.4 billion unbanked adults on the planet. Most of them have mobile devices. We understand that. And we're here to meet the needs. We want to really educate and show folks how, how through crypto they can be their own bank. They don't have to be a slave to the system. And they're able to, to change their lives. They're able to dream big and accomplish that, but it doesn't happen overnight. And that's why we, we've got this fantastic plan. We've got an amazing, so well-balanced ROI DAP system to foundation that that is a high yield savings account liquid. You can win the spark rewards. Who has that? Only the art does. So it is, it is, it is absolutely wonderful. And uh, to, to be able to share this with the masses is, is going to be something that I think everyone in here is going to, to really be a part and witness here something amazing. So that's pretty much it for me, folks. Let's see, is Coach Brad in the house? How are you, sir? Very wet, Atlas. <laughs> it is absolutely pouring down here. Just had to make a run from the car inside. But, uh, yeah, very. other than that, very good. Thank you, sir. All right. Have you used the mobile application yet? The mobile application, yeah, I've, I've used it. I've been using it all week. And what, what are your thoughts, sir? How do you think this is going to, to really be that tool to cross the bridge and, and, and be so much simpler? I mean, your, your position here, how long does it take you to onboard somebody who's absolutely new to crypto all the way to the ROI app from Fiat? And what does this application do, especially when we incorporate and, and plug in the uh, Fiat onboarding? But from what you see already, the difference from the D app to this. Well, it is an absolute world of difference. Uh, if I'm completely honest, it, it goes from, uh, it takes the process from being an absolute nightmare at times to being much simpler. Uh, you know, I've spent anywhere up, you know, upwards of two to three hours with um, investors before trying to get them in where they just, very new, never used a MetaMask, never used a trust wallet or a Ravi wallet, never bought from an exchange. And it is an absolute nightmare. KYC with a, you know, with an exchange or with a third party provider like MoonPay. Oh, it is not a fun process. You know, happy to do it, always happy to do it, but uh, it is a real real pain especially when i'm dealing with someone who has zero or little let's say little to no experience in crypto and this is all very very new to them it can be it can be painful and it's not you know not for me for for the for the customer you know i, I do this for a living it's not a problem at all but for the individual it can be very very stressful and um you know the difference with the pwa app is just an absolute game changer um you know especially when we eventually have end-to-end -end solutions. So very And I can happy. imagine it's, it's like pulling teeth with some of these folks because we live in a TikTok world where most folks have the attention span of an ant. They're oh, bombarded yeah. with, with, with media, you know, messages, hey, notification. Hey, hold on, Coach Brad. I, I got a call. Wait, wait. I got an email from the bank. Let me check what's going on. There's, there's so much happening on a day-to-day -day basis, and people are busy. You know, that, that process can even be intimidating. We've done a fantastic job of it, obviously. But, you know, having this tool just, you know, creates a whole different user experience. It's not just from a time, you know, rug of, of going through the whole process. 
and uh, with the the fiat onboarding that we're going to be doing, there's there's no KYC, folks. One of the the most inconvenient things when you want to purchase crypto with a credit card is the whole process. They'll ask you for your social security number. Take a picture of the front and the back. Send me a utility bill. Yes, why don't you? You know, send me a utility bill. Scan it. You know, look to the left. You know, selfie to the right. Look up. Look down. Uh, that's another experience that that can happen when you're trying to just do it very quickly. Uh, going through the exchanges. You know, another experience you have. Do you remember when we were on uh, Kronos, and you'd have to wait 24 hours after going through the whole sign up process. And purchasing your crypto, they'd still hold on. I mean, they got rid of it, but that was brutal. I mean, some of these uh, exchanges are, are are wanting you to sign a contract with cold blood and a toothpick, pretty much. It's awful. Totally right. It is an absolute nightmare. Um, I've had... I've had multiple people say to me, um, you know, I put an hour aside for this and it's, you know, it's taken longer than that. And we've had to break it down into smaller sessions because people get stressed out because they've got to turn the head left, turn the head right, take multiple photos. And, you know, the photos aren't visible, but they are because I've watched them do it. And the whole process is an absolute nightmare at times. Sometimes it's really smooth. Most of the time it's a pain in the, in the backside. So I am, very happy with the uh, with the updates and the whole process is going to be streamlined and it will just just make everything much easier and much better. Fantastic. So, so what do you have for us today on the all aboard? I know we got a hard stop at ten to do the spark rewards, but until then, we have all aboard time. Today we have a, a video from Crypto Fergie. We haven't uh, featured him for a few days, and he is uh, in his regular here. We have um, it's a, a little bit of a two for one because he 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 looks at a Fleming article that we've already looked at, and just said you know goes over how it inspired him and how he what he's taken from that. He doesn't read the whole thing. But he just takes a couple of parts out of it. So it's a nice opportunity for people that didn't see that article. We'll get another glimpse at it. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really, uh, really good video from uh, from Crypto Fergie, as it always is. Another banger. <laughs> all right, sir. It is all yours. I'll turn it over to you. All Let's aboard. do some all aboard. And we'll keep an eye out for uh, 14 minutes from now. The video is 12 minutes long and I actually stopped. Um, I had some issues getting home because it's absolutely flooded everywhere. So I've stopped at my girlfriend's sister's house on my way home because it was closer than mine. And um, I'm on my mobile. So Mistletoad is going to put the video into the bot for us and we're going to watch it through the new fantastic bot that we have in the Telegram. Let's go. What is up, everyone? It's Crypto Fergie. It's that time again, guys. We're going to be taking a look at ArtFi which is absolutely blowing everything out of the water. It's paying, it's printing, it's doing what it says on the tin. And I have no issues with bringing this to you guys because if you're not involved in art, I believe you're missing out. But you have to do your own research. Do not take anything that I say as financial advice before you part with, you know, some of that hard-earned cash. So today, guys, things are going to be slightly different. We're going to take a look at where I am positioned. We're also going to take a look at a, a Medium article that was so well written. I've read it two or three times, and it really captures the heart of what ArcFi team is trying to achieve for us, the investors, and the whole theology around what your mindset should be in this whole DeFi space. But guys, let's dive right in. Let's take a wee check at the figures 
of what Ark is doing at the minute. So it's at 572. This is probably the the, the all time high. <laughs> so it is at 572. It's normally in around 571. The liquidity is steadily climbing. So it is. This is going to hit a million. So it is very very soon. The ILC reserves is always in around this price also. And we have 4300 total vault accounts. So we have. So that's growing steadily. And the Spark winners, we have 113 Spark winners. Total Spark paid out was 29,322 ARC at 571. That is insane. Today's Spark price is sitting at 471. The, the, the Telegram podcast hasn't started yet. So good luck, guys. This is, this, is, this is the range we're in here now. 576, 574. Arc giving away. That's something like three thousand over three thousand dollars worth of arc being given away every evening. You tell me somewhere else that's doing this. I, I don't know any other app, any other platform, any other team that has given out over three thousand dollars away every evening. I'm eligible for it. I haven't won it yet, but I am confident that someday I will win it and I will let each and every one of you know. So I thought this uh article in medium from Fleming Arnett is absolutely an insane read. I'm not going to go over it all because um, you could do your own research and read this. There's so much content out there on medium, but I want to give Fleming Arnett a bit of space on my channel. It's a small channel, but I, we, our accounts are sitting in around the same. So this really resonated with me. Now, payday, how many of us have been so used to just Compound, compound, hyper compound, hyper compound. I want to get to that max wallet and forgetting about taking some money off the table for ourselves. Uh, I believe that is the greatest mistake each and every one of us do is by hyper compounding and not paying ourselves. So Arnett has really explained it well here and there's also a book that I have read. I'm going to share it with you later on. But let's jump in here guys. We're going to paraphrase through this here. Uh, I now have nearly 800 ARC tokens, which is where I'm at at the minute, so if you take a look at my my ARC, if you hear my kids in the background, guys, I, I, that's the way it is, they're off in Easter, they're going to be in the background, that's going to be the background noise, I'm just a real person. So I have something like 870 now, so this is why this resonated with me, um, and it's such a great read, it really, really captures the heart of, it, of, of what ARC is trying to do. For the, for the community, for the investor, the smart money that's coming on board. So we have nearly 800 tokens in the vault. If I were to buy this many tokens, it would cost me something like $6,000. Then you separately you take your tax off for buying and, and depositing. However, I only invested $300 initially back in November 2022. I got into this pre-sale and I'm so pleased that I did because I got 98 ARC initially, which means I got them for around $3 each. Uh, I got on, on the, the ARC a wee bit later, so I did, but it's still early. It's still early. This this um, platform is something like 110, 120 days old, and they're innovating. They're innovating every week. We have something like uh, the PWA coming out app, coming out sometime this week, towards the weekend, I believe, which probably lead into the following week. But it's on its way, we have seen it. You can want to check the videos, check other people's videos, that this app is actually ready to be released on the masses. And then they're also going to release the roadmap also over the next six months. Uh, what's happening for the next six months. My vault balance has grown through a combination of referral rewards, plus the compounding of about 50% of my daily rewards. My NDV is still positive, so I'm on a 2% reward rate and early earning nearly 16 hours tokens every day and I, this is exactly where i'm at so guys so i really really think this is so so important here pay yourself first arc enforces a pay yourself first approach which means you can hyper you can't hyper compound like you would in most other DeFi projects that have come before such as drip and furio so i believe this is what arc has done it has taken all the best parts of other dApps, seeing where it could improve and it has really, really improved. Because when you take money off the table to pay yourself, you don't be as stressed about the, uh, the dApp and you don't make emotional decisions. I believe when you make emotional decisions 
and you lay, allow fear, you allow fud, fear, uncertainty, and doubt get in. This upsets the whole community. But when you actually pay in yourself and you're taking uh, a wage basically off the platform, which they encourage you to do, so there's no such thing as somebody hitting you up in the comments, oh, why are you taking money off the platform? Because this platform encourages it. So there's no liquidity problem. At the end, when you've a maxed out wallet, you have taken out along the journey of that wallet. So um, you can read his current strategy, which I think is very, very good, is your 50 percent compound withdraw 35 percent and airdrop 15 because you always have to remember you got to give back to your team and i've read so many books about billionaires and millionaires and one of the things that you have to be ingrained in is being able to give your capital out to good causes or whatever the cause is i read this book here and i believe maybe uh fleming arnett got this from here the Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Classen. If you read that there, it also talks about you've got to pay yourself first. How many of us don't pay ourselves first? Pay every other thing that's going, but forget to pay ourselves. Once you pay yourself, you're giving yourself some sort of self-worth and it takes the stress out of everything. So, um, yeah. So, I'm actually going to probably do this strategy every weekend. I'm going to take it off the table. What I'm going to take off, so I sell them. Let me see. So, okay, this means my CWR remains at a healthy rate, and I'm able to withdraw 30%, 35% of my daily rewards and enjoy them. Cash them out. Pay yourself, kid. You have to pay yourself. And how my total rewards stack up for the week? 15.73 ARC tokens per day at seven days equals 110 ARC per week. 35% of this is 38 ARC. I sell them every Friday, which is a 571 uh, each, which nets me $172 a week after paid, and 10% withdrawal tax and 13% seal tax. $172 a week in climbing. So there's a salary, and you're not hurting the platform because this platform encourages you to do this. And also, I thought there's a great bit down here where he'll be at in July. And just scroll down, just bear with me. And um, maybe scroll past it, have a yeah. So by July, mid weekly pay should be around four hundred dollars, around four hundred dollars. And this is where I'd be also, and it's continued to claim. And this is just one wallet. If you do a multi wallet strategy. It becomes mind-boggling, the figures that you can be earning. Do you know what I mean? Um, this is the thing about the Art Fight team. They continue to innovate. They have the mobile application coming out towards the weekend. So they have, um, which I believe will be live the following week. And this will open the floodgates basically to the masses uh, because it will have a fiat on-ramp also where you can buy the, the Art Fight tokens through the app, which will save that whole hassle. Of trying to explain MetaMask or Rabi Wallet, you need BNB, you need BSD, all of that, it, it, it simplifies it down. So uh, that's what we want a dull down, simplified version of getting the masses on. So I'm excited for Art Guys. If you want to research this, you got to read the white paper, read these medium articles that these people put up. Uh, they write them so much better than I could ever do. This is why I just wanted to cover this one because this is such a bullish one. Um, okay, so final thoughts. Ark is currently my favorite DeFi project. I'm with you that I'm with you on that Fleming. Uh, when I first got into it, wasn't convinced. He wasn't convinced that it had made a good decision. But the last four months have proven to me that it is a fantastic project with a fantastic team behind it and the excellent supportive community too. I believe it has the recipe recipe and the ingredients for a tremendous success. And I believe that also, guys, because if you're into this, you can jump on every day on the Telegram podcast, listen to the team. This is where I draw my strength from because I believe what they're doing is next level. There's no other team out there that is, you can speak to Atlas, the CEO, and you can speak to uh, Brad, you can speak to Brett, you can speak to all of the team 
they're all there kelly snip is there also everybody is well well respected these guys are also of something like 10 15 20 years of business behind them also they're just not devs or also real world business people um so that that's a simple one for me where i want to put my money and um, it's grown daily i will pay myself every weekend as i do um because you know what this is DeFi, and you've got to pay yourself you gotta get your mindset into the right way of thinking that's it for me crypto frigate see you in the next one video there from Crypto Ferg. He always loves seeing his stuff and you know he's he's taken on board what um Fleming's wrote written about and you know if you're gonna gonna listen to someone Fleming's a great person to listen to. <laughs> so great to see uh him fly, flying the flag of arc always. And that is just in time Atlas I believe ten o'clock was the, the hard cut off and we are nine at fifty nine sir. Yes sir we are just about ready to to go ahead and make it happen over here, folks. Unleash the beast. That is the spark. Anybody want to call the sparky? This is your time. Here we go. Spark. Go somewhere else, Sparky. You've came here too many times. Head over to Bob, Sparky. It's meant to be music, Atlas. We cannot hear any music. I can hear some. It's really quiet. It's background music, but I can hear some. Exactly. It's really low. Not hear that. Sorry. What about now? Can hear it now. So close to the all-time high from yesterday. There it is. Who is it going to be?
Sparky. And there it is, folks. Today's lucky winner, their wallet ends in 4-2-E-0. And they're the winner of 589.68 ARC, my friends. And they're a first-time winner. Congratulations, you are officially in the Nitro mode. Sheesh. <laughs> and as we always do for the first time winners, it is a bit loud. But here's the first time winner jingle, folks. Woo, yeah. Let's get this crypto. Baby. God damn! Oh yeah, let's get this crypto. Whew, another one. Really, congratulations. Amazing to witness this, folks, every single day here on the ARC. It feels good to be a Spark winner. My friends, Mr. Z, sir, how are you doing today? What's happening out there on Wall Street, on the crypto streets? I, I hear, you know, I get notifications, crypto Twitter. Oh, it's pumping 30K. And my friend, it's so nice not to even <laughs> look at it because the excitement, you know, that's paying 2% a day, it's here. I mean, nowhere else. Satoshi isn't paying this. Vitalik isn't paying it. You know, Charles Hawkinson, Cardano. I mean, no one is doing what we're doing here on the arc folks you want to talk about winning in the bear i mean they say the bull the arc was built for the bear for the bull for the moon i mean whatever is happening out there it's not as exciting as what's happening out here and it's just nice to you know look at the neighbor's lawn and understand that okay yeah it's pumping good but it's not greener my friends do not get it twisted Go ahead, Mr. Z. Tell us what's happening out there. Mr. Z, if you're speaking, we cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome, awesome. I'll just repeat myself. So what I was going to say was, I mean, um, everyone right now, I believe, is getting... Uh, the bullish uh, sort of candle, and I'm sure all the Telegram groups and discords are all, you know, celebrating and going to the moon and everything. Um, and I mean, you, you get articles like this, like 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 uh, here, uh, the, it's like William Saberg from Coin Telegraph is writing, BTC price targets 33k next as Bitcoin eyes key resistance flips. The thing is, even on the chart that they're showing. It's resisting right now, and 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 basically thirty thirty thousand five hundred was a region that we were targeting, and um, what we're seeing is we're seeing pure rejection there. So people, like when you see candles go down in 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 sort of uh, a, a bearish engulfing move like this, this means folks are taking profits. I would like to see an article out there that actually tells people to take profits, but you're not going to see that because that's not going to get the hit pieces. So so I'm telling everyone to beware. This could dip even more because the way it ran to 31K and back down, you're going to see a bit of, you can say, uh, divergence. Now, I'm, I wouldn't like buy any dips right now. At this point, if you guys are in any profits on any tokens, uh, do take some profits. And pay uh, yourselves. Yeah, well, pay <laughs> That's, there's a big imbalance there on that candle. Yes. That pump candle. Huge imbalance. 
And yeah. look how we went right back up, test 50% of that, that, that green candle, heinous debacle, tapping that liquidity all the way down, sweeping the lows, back up to retest there, the 50% line of that. I mean, this is classic. This is classic. Get them all, you know, wearing their moon boots and putting on the helmets. They're dancing on top of the tables, my friend. Ooh, man, hype is into FOMO. I mean, once you start hearing the grandmothers buying Bitcoin, you know, you know what that means. And I'm hearing them. I don't know about you, no, Mr. Z, been, but I, I hate the grandmothers. <laughs> I've been getting messages all day. And, and, and right now, uh, we are in the greed index. This is when people uh, are holding on to their bags. And whenever you see a greed index, that's when you should be taking profits. Fear is the, is the dips that you buy. Right now, we're not in fear anymore. Right now, we're... We're getting greedy. We're we're we're, we're targeting thirty thousand, thirty one thousand, thirty two thousand. So, um, I I don't see us go up there for a little bit. I think there's still a bunch of news. There's still uh, interest rate base hikes to happen in, in in the Fed Reserve, and 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 there's a bunch of other things that are indicating uh, that we're seeing a, a tight range here. So so that's that's what I see from a technical terms. I don't want to go through these sorts of articles like this because they're not basing it on, on, on pure fundamentals in any way or form. They're just showing you uh, a daily chart and, and how 33 can be tapped. So, so just be careful, guys. I'm just, it's just a warning sign to take profits and, and, and play this thing safely because, because we are taking profits right now. So that's the first thing um, that I want to sort of point out. Uh, now, the other stuff that's happening in crypto is quite big. Um, let me go to um, our DeFi links here. And what you're seeing is Twitter. Twitter is making some big, big crypto moves right now. Uh, let's go to this article here. And this was uh, uh, just yesterday. Uh, so Twitter to launch crypto and stock trading in partnership with eToro. Um, so th the way it works is like... Um, uh, the, the Twitter repository gets many sort of promos and, uh, and then they go for a deal to like take up the, 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 the crypto exchange and, and, and nothing better than a centralized eToro. So, so eToro will partner with, uh, with Twitter to, to allow folks to, 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 to transact in crypto and, and tweet in crypto, which is pretty cool. So the popular social media app is looking to introduce crypto and stock trading options from within the app as he, as Musk aims to penetrate financial markets. So uh, the, the way crypto has been since, uh, since since the Elon buyout was that they make $4 billion in revenue and then they pay back the loans and they're left with maybe 100 to $200 million in, in, in sort of net spend. And and even that basically gets eaten up by by wages and stuff. So so Twitter is starting to find uh, financial products to partner with, and it's and, I, and I'm great. Uh, it is, I'm glad to see that they are tapping into the crypto market because that's what uh, I think the majority of crypto uh, Twitter is right now is crypto Twitter. So we're seeing these things. So Twitter has become a really important part of the retail investment community, and it's where a lot of people go to access financial news and acquire knowledge. We think cash tags can play a central role in this conversation and they are already gaining a lot of attraction. So, so yeah, we're going to see, um, first we saw sort of partnerships in the gaming industry. Uh, then we saw uh, a bunch of, you know, social media sort of like even IMs like Telegram, uh, just move away from the, from the sort of crypto scene a little bit. But now we're seeing some real adoption. So we're seeing Twitter, uh, allowing its folks to soon be able to uh, trade stocks and crypto on, on their platform. I think th this goes into his everything app as well. So um, I think he wants to focus uh, on the everything app, just like how WeChat is in, in Asia, in China especially. So I think um, I think Elon's going for the same module here. So, so that's one good news. Let's continue with what we see here. Uh, so some more like good news came out. So, so we talked about Arkansas um, last week, and and now Montana is 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 about to pass or has uh, uh, or has passed the rights to mine a crypto bill uh, within its own district. So legislate legislation has already 
passed in Senate in February and will now make it to the table of Governor Greg Gianforts. So, so yeah, we're seeing um, a lot of these uh, sort of uh, states um, come through now. So, so bill number 178 prohibiting local authorities from obstructing the crypto mining operation was passed during the third reading by 64 votes to 35. Yay or nay. I love them kind of votes. They're old classic, like give us a yay for, for four and yet nay. And we got 64 yays. Awesome stuff. Um, so yeah, we are looking at a, at a good time in, in crypto. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing good moves. We're seeing, uh, not just happen, like n- not just the social media applications, you know, being open to, to more crypto promotion and, and partnerships. Uh, we're seeing governments like Montana. Uh, past bill so, so that's another good news let me see if i have anything more to to touch i know we are uh the other thing i wanted to share share with you guys if you guys go to DeFi links i've put up a, a token dot unlock that app uh, link for the ethereum shanghai uh hard fork so you're seeing how many um ethereums are being deposited as we are it's a it's a live chart that that, that, that covers really cool data so if you guys want to uh, learn some and 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 understand metadata a little bit. Uh, do look into token unlock, and and yeah, I think that sort of covers uh, DeFi sessions for today. Thank you. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. What you doing, bro? Good, good to see you. Good, to, good to hear and learn from you. Uh, how you been? Yeah, been a been a as as you can see, the, the team's been hard at work, man. Like we've been. Uh, been doing a bunch in the background and utility faction, and now you see the app, and it gives us all a good sigh of relief to know uh, that we finally have utility. I I love I love the, um, the the go to market approach with this mobile um, gateway. It's going to be so critical for mass adoption and reducing the barriers. So uh, this is just monumental. This is a great quick milestone. When you get a native, you know, app, then that even even more mainstream. So. That's it's phenomenal. That's really really unique. Um, so congrats on everything on, on that. I was wondering what your thoughts are though, related to the market you were just describing. So definitely we're seeing some. First of all, the momentum on monthly and weekly and longer time frame is very it's quite bullish because you know we're going to see like a a Mac MACD inflection. We're going to see a stochastic push on the monthly, weekly, all that good stuff. And so that whole over over uh, imploded. Q4 we had is like oversold, like right, and so now we're starting to see a reversal there, bounce. But I'm just wondering what your take is on the. This is it's predictive, I know, but like, what do you think? You think we could end up because are you familiar with the master trend line? Yeah, yeah. Like the mm-hmm. um, uh, yeah, yeah. So you know how on the log on the log scale we're we're, we're really broke down from master trend line. Never mind the uh, the, the the pullbacks from say you know, from COVID and all that, and always kind of, it always kind of uh, retraced. But mm-hmm. but now we really see a breakdown, if you look at the log chart over, you know, multiple years, literally eight years, it, that, that is no longer respected overall in the market. So I'm wondering, what's your thoughts on the recovery, the bounce, and also factoring regulations coming in, the, you know, CBDC, the, what happened with the banks. I'm just wondering, like, do you think we're going to have a muted market or extended cycle? or And, and do you think that it could re- resume that? Like that that's a big deal to me, I feel. What do you think? Like that whole um uh the, re- the mm-hmm. reclaiming that master line that 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 is the trajectory. Now I know we you know, there's other models like the having cycles and all that. I'm just wondering what you're thinking about the next cycle. I know it doesn't repeat, it it rhymes, so to speak. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering because I feel like maybe we can have maybe it'll be an extended cycle, right? Because of the drag with the interest rates and and the economy and, and the, the you could, we could have rising employment. Uh, uh, we could have mortgage uh, pullback with, with, with the, you know, with interest rates, all that stuff, all that stuff. And plus, especially with regulations, I think it's almost like, and again, I don't want to be too long, but, but, but it's almost like mm-hmm. we expected 100K to blow up, right? Last year, it yeah. did. the masses are now more increasingly aware of having cycles, are increasingly aware of it, right? So many people mm-hmm. flooded in trading, for example, when, when Schwab and the others reduced all the fees. Right. Mm-hmm. So what happened? It, got, it went wacky. It went wacky town. It was wild. Like markets not reflecting reality. So I'm just wondering, you think it's going to be muted, extended or different this time because of what's going on now? And, and also, mind you, there was a muted cycle from 17 to 19. Right. We had yep. a lower high on that. So mm-hmm. I'm just wondering what you think on overall on that regard. Thanks. 
Yeah, no, of course. Uh, my sort of thing is like, so So when we did the, the previous Bitcoin halving cycle, we went through the same thing where we, the year before, we went through a whole year of accumulation. And I think like this is that year as well. I think it's the year of accumulation. Um, there's the whole securities debate, which sort of takes my hindsight right now because, uh, because most countries, um, you can say from China to, to Russia to, to South Africa, they're sort of hinting at adoption uh, at a gold peg standard. Then you're having, um, you can say, a bunch of things. The, the, the securities question is something that's right now in my head. I'm looking forward to May the 6th. I think May the 6th we find out if Ripple is going to be classified as a security because that could be a, a limitation to crypto. Uh, but if Ripple, if XRP win their case, then that means DeFi gets a second chance, gets a second wind. Uh, but even even with all that, I still I still see uh, like more regional issues where we're going through. Uh, I think the, the the barrels on oil has been halved, um, and and whenever you see these sort of traps, and especially when you look at the dollar index and stuff, you're looking at uh, a, a bearish sort of uh, movement right now. So I I I'm not like I'd, I'd hope I'm wrong. I I hope we hit 60k. That would be great. But I'm being very reasonable, and from a technical standpoint. 32,000 is a place where I see a bunch of resistance if we get there. But I think, but currently, uh, we're seeing pullbacks a little bit. If you look at it from a short term cycle, we're seeing pullbacks happen. And I'm just seeing a bunch of whales take profit right now. People that entered at 16, 17K, they're up 2X right now. So what, what do they do? They take profits, wait for another uh, uh, pullback to like, let's say, uh, to, to 24, 25 buy that up and then take it up to 35k that's a a, a a sort of basis point that i'm looking at uh so am i accumulating any tokens right now i think my accumulation uh period is, is done i think now we have to just look at adoption at a, at a different standpoint we need to look into uh more roi depths we need to see uh we, we need to look into utility um ethereum just went through shanghai hard fork which means staking platforms are going to be hot right now um so so we'll see we'll see I, I, I'm, I'm i know i'm not giving you a straight answer uh, but i'm just looking at it from a technical point of view that that we do see pullbacks at these points this is great insight see i appreciate that and and that mention about the yeah the ripple uh, the ripple of from the ripples uh uh ruling will be key after me so that will that will uh, define it will better define guidance and all that with i think with bigger with bigger players like i, I people like I, I would think do you know what percent do you know what percent of volume is from institutional right now i mean bitcoin as we know it it is institutionalized if you look into the commitment of traders reports it's mentioning bitcoin uh at a, and, and blackrock and 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 the big hedges they, they they have a bunch of bitcoin so i think that's why uh it's it's being uh, sort of mitigated differently i'm i'm more thinking about defi because of utility so um but i think i think they both uh sort of complement one another if you look at the the total market cap Bitcoin and, and what's happening with um, with its NFT side of utility and also the Lightning Network as well. So that came out of DeFi. Those solutions came out of DeFi and we're in constant adoption in that side. So uh, there's a bunch of things um, I've I've got like lined up for the economic calendar. Uh, but I think for now, I think people can enjoy. Uh, I, I don't want to like uh, stop the party. <laughs> I just want folks to take profits at the current price they're at. Is I think from 16, 17k Bitcoin when when Ethereum was down to 12, 1300, people are accumulating and right now they're up. So my advice to them is is pay yourselves, and then we'll look forward to next month. <laughs> so you think the big money already well they accumulated yeah in the 16, 17, 18k zone, uh, mm -hmm. um, demand zone and region and then and then they are they are now paying themselves. So now the yeah. rest is just really retail and FOMO and all the hype now coming up from, you know, mass newsletters for retail investors that want to dabble in. And so this, I, it seems like, yeah, it, it might wear out in terms of esteem. Um, like, like 
what about the banks though and the fear though? Like we have a lot of greed now in the index you shared, right? But what about mm-hmm. what's the sentiment of the retail investors because they drive? Well, do do you think they can continue to drive further beyond the thirties? Like you you mentioned with the um uh the 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 supply the supply zone in around thirty five or. Do you think they can carry you, it through, you, or can you think it be muted because they're they're fearful? With uh, yeah, I I it. would say thirty one, thirty two k is an important yeah. region, and then that will give us indication to see if 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 we're gonna push from there. I believe thirty two k is a good place to take profits for the for for, for the whales, uh, because they they've been buying like, like this, the moment we dipped at sort of fifteen point six k, sixteen seventeen k, those were bought really really quickly. And I think from now they're taking profits and they're waiting for the next dip. And right now you're going to get a, a bunch of retail sentiment, a lot of like uh, news articles saying to buy uh, and and look at price action. But uh, we've been here before. No times. <laughs> so so you're basically just to just to bundle this up. You're you're feeling you're feeling the market like top could uh, still align with the next halving, right? Yeah, with the having the model, correct? Like 160s, yeah. 180s, something like that. Yeah, that would be a what? AT? That would be an AT market yeah, overall, I think. Well, Absolutely. thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Nato, for asking the same question ten different ways. <laughs> and, 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 and at the end of the day, is it long or short? It's sideways, and um, uh, we appreciate you asking. But we want to get back and and um, in the interest of time, my friends, uh, conclude the. DeFi sessions, as well as um, when we finish that, go to a Q&A. So, Nato, if you have some questions, you can uh, hold those for then. Uh, as we have a full house here, this is a very, very special day here on the ARC, Friday, April 14th, history being made, and you're all witnessing it here, folks. I want to thank everyone who came out today to the podcast. Be proud of yourselves. Pat yourselves on the back. You've been so loyal. You've been so supportive to this team as the hard work is being done. And I think you've realized that the way we work here is by building in silence and letting the products make the noise. And now it is in your hands. It is your opportunity to seize the day, to go help so many other folks James at the water cooler is always talking. Oh, Bitcoin going to the moon. Listen, little James, stop trying to FOMO. Stop trying to time the market. Be a responsible investor. Have a seat. Read the white paper. Come on over. Sit down with Coach Brad. He's got the white gloves. VIP treatment. We're going to show you how easy it is to understand ARC. What ARC has done. How ARC is better than Bitcoin or Ethereum because Satoshi and Vitalik don't pay you 2% a day to get your ROI and it keeps you gliding, sailing with house money at 1% every single day, folks. And in my opinion, there's nothing more bullish or important or interesting or sustainable out there. This is nothing short of of amazing, and it's not about going to the moon. This is galactic, folks. What's going to happen here? And you are all a part of it. Thank you so much. For the folks listening to the recording, thank you for your participation through listening. We hope you found it educational as well as entertaining. We will be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. UTC. Looking forward to hear more feedback. We're going to shift this all aboard session into seeing who's the most effective using this tool. The testimonials we're going to see of people going out there into the real world, getting into an Uber, ordering a pizza on Uber Eats, saying, hey, by the way, I've got this amazing thing. I mean, look at the results. Look at the the quality of this application, the user interface. Um, See if you could turn off your screen, please. This is it, folks. You've been waiting. It has been delivered. Now it's up to you guys to carry it across and go out there and put this to work. Grow those syndicates. Let's get to crypto, folks. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you tomorrow.